Greetings to all. My name is John Watts with Watts Digital Imaging in San Diego, California, and I'm a post processing specialist for photographers. My motto is you take the perfect shot and I hope you get the absolute most out of it, your printer or mine. Lately, I've been asked a version of this question over and over. Working on my images, should I use Lightroom or Photoshop? To me, that's the wrong question, perhaps not even a fair question. Photoshop and Lightroom are not designed to replace each other. They're designed to complement each other. They're two different programs with two different purposes. So what are the right questions? For enhancing my image and getting the highest quality output from my digital capture, which is the better program? Answer, Photoshop. And for critically culling, condensing, editing, rating, and managing my rather large collection of images, which is the better program? Answer, Lightroom. Here's another way of thinking about it. Photoshop is a digital darkroom, whereas Lightroom is a digital library. Let me explain, and to do so, let me first define each program, both products from Adobe. What is Photoshop? It's an image manipulation and enhancement software program, or for you propeller heads out there, it's a raster graphics editor. It's an industry standard for a reason. It's an incredibly powerful and complex program. What is Lightroom? I like this definition from Wikipedia. It's an image management application database which helps in viewing, editing, and managing digital photos. It's also incredibly powerful for what it's designed to do, but not near as complex as Photoshop. So is there crossover in what each program can do? Of course, and therein lies the confusion. For instance, the program Bridge comes with Photoshop CC and it's a very good file browser. And Lightroom has a develop and print module to emulate certain Photoshop image enhancement functions. But you should never confuse what you can do in Bridge with the organizational power of Lightroom, nor should you even remotely confuse the develop module on Lightroom to the full capabilities of image enhancement capable in Photoshop. Now, it's a fallacy that the develop module on Lightroom is just as good as Photoshop. In fact, the develop module is virtually the same as the Adobe Camera Raw plugin accessed through Photoshop and no more. In this regard, when it comes to the best enhancement of your file for high quality output, Photoshop is a NASCAR race car to Lightroom's passenger car. No comparison. I'm not a big fan of Lightroom. Two main reasons, most are not using the develop module properly for best output. And the second is more program than most photographers need. If, if you don't need the power of Lightroom, which is organization, then, you know, why bother? But anyway, there is a three-part series on my blog, and there's a link to part one on the links page at the, at the top of the notes. And I would encourage you to spend some time with that. Part one says, do you really need Lightroom? Part two, if you do, are you going to use ACR, the develop module, to accomplish the four goals before bringing it into Photoshop. And you'll hear four goals before the night is over a lot because I want to hammer home, if nothing else, the four goals of what you're trying to do with that image in Adobe Camera Raw. What are you trying to do to that raw file? Okay, uh, so tonight, just so you know, I'm gonna keep it super simple. I use Bridge, have for years, almost approaching decades now, I think, and it more than meets my needs. It's not unusual for me at certain times of the year to mess with uh, hundreds of images uh, a week. So I, I find more than enough organizational power with that. I like the sheer simplicity of Bridge. Anybody can learn it in 30 minutes. In fact, there's a blog post in my blog on, on how to use Bridge. So tonight I will open the images in Bridge. That's my browsing where I find which images I want to bring it to Photoshop for master files. We'll be working in Adobe Camera Raw. I'll explain to you in a minute what it is and then we bring it into Photoshop. So that's homework is to, you know, decide, do you really need Lightroom? And uh, if you do, awesome. And like it says, part of three, if you're a dedicated Lightroom user, how do you get your image from Lightroom and to Photoshop and safely back? And that can be tricky. So, uh, you know, uh, if you're already using Lightroom and you're integrating Photoshop into your workflow, you might want to just read part three.